So we've got two cocktails to make today, plus I've got some exciting news, so let's not wait. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Mr. Bally High, so let's get mixing. Hey everyone, I'm Andy, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've been here before, well, you may have noticed some things are different. We've rebranded the channel. We are now mixing it up tiki. And don't worry, this channel is still all gonna be about tiki cocktails and tiki history, but we're just gonna widen our scope just a little bit. Speaking of which, today we're gonna be making the iconic Mr. Bally High two different ways, the classic and inverted. The Mr. Bally High basically became the signature cocktail of the Bally High restaurant shortly after it opened in 1954. So in 1954, Tom Ham buys the now defunct Christian's Hut, or simply known as The Hut at the time. Now this is a bar that's named after another bar in a Clark Gables movie known as Mutiny on the Bounty. When Ham buys this bar, he renames it the Bally High. He gets the inspiration for the name from the theme song Bally High, which means your own special island, from the 1949 musical South Pacific. Now the cocktail itself is named after the Misty Bally High, which is a statue in front of the Bally High that greets every single customer coming in. But in fact, that's not what makes this cocktail so iconic. In fact, it's actually the mug that is designed to look like the statue outside the Mr. Bally High that makes this cocktail so iconic. Now I do want to warn you, the cocktail that is on the actual Bally High restaurant menu right now is different and it's listed as pineapple juice, sweet and sour, blackberry, light Puerto Rican rum, and lemon heart 151 rum. Now the version we're making today actually comes from the Total Tiki app and from Jeff the Beach Bum Berry himself. Now Jeff equates this to about a 1960s version of the Mr. Bally High, and he actually found the recipe scribbled down on a piece of paper in the Bally High employee lounge. It's a pretty cool story. To make this version of the Mr. Bally High, you're gonna need dark Jamaican rum, lightly aged rum, coffee liqueur, simple syrup, pineapple juice, and lemon juice. For my dark Jamaican rum, I'm going with Karuba. For my lightly aged rum, Plantation 3 Star. And for my coffee liqueur, I'm using Old Harbor Distilling today. So let's grab a shaking tin and start building. In your shaking tin, you're gonna add one ounce or 30 milliliters of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Next, you're gonna add one and a half ounces or 45 milliliters of pineapple juice. Now the pineapple juice that I'm using is the one you saw me fresh pressing earlier in the episode. Now add half an ounce or 15 milliliters of simple syrup. Next add three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 milliliters of coffee liqueur. Then add one ounce or 30 milliliters of lightly aged rum. And finish off with one and a half ounces or 45 milliliters of dark Jamaican rum. Add some pebble ice to your shaking tin. And whip shake for about five to eight seconds. Now originally this would be served in a Mr. Belly High mug, but I don't happen to have one, so grab a double rocks glass. And open pour in. Top with more pebble ice. Garnish with a couple pineapple fronds that we pulled from our pineapple earlier, and serve with a straw. And there we have it, the Mr. Belly High. Let's give it a try. The pineapple and coffee play so well together. And if you've never tried that flavor profile before, I highly recommend it, because it is exquisite. The dark Jamaican rum is coming in and doing this wonderful job. Oh, and there's even more elevation on the back end because of that coffee liqueur. So the coffee liqueur that I'm using has this wonderful like caramel note to it that just rides on the back end of that thing. And it might be because of the dark Jamaican rum that I'm using, but there's just like this burnt chocolate uh, caramel like funk that's going on in the back end and it is exquisite. It's really good. Now this is a really good cocktail, but let's see if we can make a modern version of this that would be served in a high-end cocktail bar today. We're gonna keep the same flavors of rum, pineapple, coffee, and lemon, but we're gonna redo them into a cocktail that is both visually striking and uses modern techniques to really bring this thing into just a more elevated version. Now, in order to do that, I wanted to make a cocktail that was a little bit more spirit forward as we find in today's cocktails. And that was stirred. I mean, a lot of the common uh, popular cocktails nowadays are things like Old Fashions and Negronis. So I wanted to be able to make something that was going to be similar in style to that. Plus I wanted to use some modern techniques. So I happen to take a page from one of my favorite mixologists on YouTube, Kevin Koss, and we're gonna do an inverted Mr. Bally High. Now to make our inverted Mr. Bally High, we're going to need lightly aged rum, pineapple gum syrup, lemon acid solution, salt solution, and Jamaican coffee foam. So we're gonna be keeping the lightly aged rum that we find in the classic Mr. Bally High, except this time I'm gonna be using Tiki Liver's White, which is a higher ABV 
spirit at 100 proof. And this is gonna help us bring this into a more spirit forward cocktail. Now for the coffee and the Jamaican rum, we're gonna be making a Jamaican coffee foam. To make the Jamaican coffee foam, you're gonna need cold brew coffee, aged Jamaican rum, demerara sugar, xanthan gum, methyl cellulose, and salt solution. In a blender, add 150 grams of cold brew coffee. Then add 50 grams of aged Jamaican rum. You want something funky here, so I'm using Smith & Cross. Then add 11 grams of demerara sugar, 0.25 grams of xanthan gum, 0.8 grams of methyl cellulose, and to enhance all the flavors, 10 drops of salt solution. Now you're gonna blend this on high for about two minutes until all the sugar and ingredients are incorporated. Then you're gonna pour that into a cream whipper and charge with a nitrous oxide cartridge, give it a nice little shake, and place it in the fridge for at least an hour. Make sure to use this up within three days. Our pineapple juice is gonna come in the form of pineapple gum syrup, which is gonna give us a nice vibrant pineapple flavor plus a nice silky texture. Now, since this is going to be a stirred cocktail, I didn't wanna use fresh lemon juice, then we'd have to shake it. Instead, we're gonna make an 18% lemon acid solution. At 18%, a half teaspoon of this lemon acid solution contains the same acidity as a quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice. To make our lemon acid solution in a jar, place 21.6 grams of lemon peels, 21.6 grams of citric acid. Now you're gonna let that sit for about two hours. After two hours, you're gonna add 98.4 grams of water and give it a nice little shake to dissolve all the acid. Then strain into a bottle. Mix about four ounces and this will last about indefinitely. All right, now that we have all of our ingredients, let's get to mixing. First, we're gonna chill down our mixing glass. And then to our mixing glass, we're gonna add three drops of salt solution, one teaspoon of our lemon acid solution, half an ounce or 15 milliliters of our pineapple gum syrup, and then two ounces or 60 milliliters of our lightly aged rum. And we're gonna add ice to our mixing glass. And then we're gonna stir for about 20 to 30 seconds. Grab a chilled double old fashioned glass, and drop in a large rock. Then we're gonna strain the cocktail over the large rock. To finish it off, we're gonna top with our Jamaican coffee foam. And there you have it, my inverted Mr. Bally High. Let's give it a try. So on the nose, I'm getting all of that Jamaican funk, which is exactly what I want. Now, let's go in for a sip. So at first, you do get a lot of foam, but once you get past the first initial sip of foam, once the cocktail comes in, this thing plays so well. It is perfectly balanced. That coffee and Jamaican rum foam are so front and center that it is just riding this wave of pineapple on the back end that is accentuated by the lightly aged rum that I'm using. So the Tiki Lover's White is a little bit more funky than something like a Plantation Three Star. Uh, if you have Probitas, that's another great one as well. Overall, this has almost the exact same flavors as the classic Mr. Belly High, but it's presented in a way that is just more elevated and honestly just prettier looking. But I'm actually really happy with this cocktail. It is quite delicious. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, Mixing Up Tiki. And until next time, that's about it for this week. Next week, we're gonna be taking a look and taking a deep dive into the world of Amaro's, how Amaro's play into tiki cocktails. I'm gonna show you how to make your own Amaro at home using only two ingredients. I'm gonna be making a cocktail from the Violet Hour in Chicago. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Andy, and until next time, cheers.